Imagine a computer that can solve today's hardest problems in seconds. That would take today's best supercomputers millions of years. Sounds like science fiction, right? Well, Google's brand new Willow chip is making that a reality and it could change everything, especially if you're holding Bitcoin or any crypto. On today's Bloom Academy, we'll break down what the Willow chip is, explain how quantum computers work and answer the question that is on top of all our minds. Can Bitcoin be hacked? I'm your host Kay and let's dive into it. So what is quantum computing? Well, regular computers like this one process information using bits. Think of bits like light switches that can either be on or off, just two states. This binary system has worked well for decades, but quantum computers can do both. Instead of bits, Quantum computers use qubits and qubit can exist in both an on and an off state at the same time, thanks to something called superposition. Picture flipping a coin. While it's spinning in the air, is it heads or tails? Well, it's both at the same time. But once the coin lands, it's either heads or tails. That spinning moment is basically like a qubit. It can be in both states at the same time, a zero and a one simultaneously until you measure it and see if it lands in one state. This amazing ability to hold multiple states at once lets quantum computers solve problems at speeds we can't even comprehend and speeds that are simply impossible for regular computers to do. Now, let's put that into perspective. Let's say you are playing a game of chess with a regular computer. The regular computer will check each possible move one by one, deciding how to proceed forward. A quantum computer? Well, it has the potential to analyze all possible moves at the same time. Pretty wild, right? And there is more. <laughs> quantum computers also leverage quantum entanglement. This is when qubits become linked together so the state of one qubit instantly affects the state of another, no matter how far they are apart. These unique traits of qubits create a massive boost of computational power, allowing quantum computers to solve complex problems that are simply impossible for classical computers to even touch. The potential is huge, from groundbreaking healthcare innovations like curing cancer to solving some of the universe's biggest mysteries. Quantum computers could revolutionize everything. But of course, there's also a worrisome side to it, which is why you're here. Quantum computers could also disrupt the digital encryption that keeps all our data, banking and cryptocurrencies safe. So let's get to the question that is on top of everyone's mind. Can Bitcoin be hacked? Bitcoin security relies on cryptographic algorithms, basically math formulas that protect your transaction and wallets. Bitcoin uses two main algorithms. One is ECDSA2560. This algorithm generates the public and private keys that secure Bitcoin wallets. The public key is shared to receive Bitcoin, while the private key is the sensitive part that lets you spend it. Right now, it's computationally infeasible <laughs> for the current computers to reverse engineer the private key from the public one. But quantum computer using something called Shor's algorithm could potentially crack this and figure out your private key, letting hackers steal your Bitcoin. The second security algorithm is SHA-2560, something you've probably heard about before. This algorithm secures Bitcoin blockchain. It makes it nearly impossible to reverse engineer transaction data or find two different inputs that produce the same output. But with quantum computers, growth algorithm could speed up this process, making it easier to brute force the SHA-2560 hash. To simplify all of this, imagine you have a safe with a combination lock on it. This is Bitcoin's encryption. Classical computer would have to try each possible combination one by one, taking million of years. Now a quantum computer with the ability to check all the combination all at once wouldn't take millions of years or even years. It could do it in just a few seconds. This is how a quantum computer could potentially crack Bitcoin's encryption. So should we be panicking about quantum computing hacking Bitcoin right now? No, not yet. Google's Willow chip is a huge leap forward in quantum computing but it's still not anywhere near capable of cracking Bitcoin's encryption. 
Willow currently has 105 qubits. To even think about breaking SHA-2560 would require millions of error-corrected qubits, something that is still a decade or more away. But in either case, let's talk about the future. What's the plan for Bitcoin in a quantum world? Even though quantum computers aren't a threat yet, Bitcoin is in fact already preparing for the future. The beauty of Bitcoin's decentralized design is that it can evolve. If quantum computers start to pose a real threat, Bitcoin can upgrade its cryptographic algorithm to quantum resistant encryption. That would likely require a hard fork and upgrade to the Bitcoin protocol, but it's totally doable and has happened before like during the Bitcoin cash split in 2017. Researchers are already working on post-quantum cryptography, encryption specifically designed to withstand quantum attacks. As quantum computers advance, these algorithms could replace the old ones, keeping Bitcoin secure. Google's Willow chip is a major step forward in quantum powered future. But it's not a threat to Bitcoin yet. Still, it serves a great reminder that we are entering a new era of computing. Think back to the early days of the internet from the 90s or even early 2000s. It was slow, clunky, and it's hard to imagine that it would have changed the world. It did, but it did. You're now watching this online and liking this video. Quantum computer could be the same, transforming industries and solving problems we've never even dreamt of solving. The quantum revolution is on the horizon and Bitcoin will be ready for it. Will you be?